Hello and welcome. Right, I thought it about time that we actually sort of, yeah, put this away. It's sort of been out for such a long time, so <laughs> I thought we could stick it in here. It's not a bad place because it's got to be somewhere you can pull through. I think, I can't imagine there's like, yeah, so we're going to have to let like, pull through and then pull it through again if we need to use it. I don't think we will, but it's, I just don't want it to look like we don't care about it or anything like that. It is a real cracking mod. Just the circumstances, and, and it is true, the sessions where I could have used it, the one session, I was really just too busy. It's, it's a poor excuse, that is really, but whatever. Well, even if I missed it, then that sort of, and I do want the actual baler. I thought one of the earliest things we need to do is set this going on the other fields and we have got a lot of work to do we yeah, have it's august it's the light levels are still reasonable yeah i just want to read yeah read this i'm always sure these are like not real but i thought well oh they are oh, my life so it was me thinking all along because obviously the other ones i knew they were real but uh, wow i like it so we could actually use them I thought they were just going to be like, you know, because in almost all farmyards there are like devices where they look like bales but they're not actually bales. It is strange, isn't it really? We live in a a world where we, it's a bit like this, we know it's not real, he says. Yeah, it isn't, see, and that's what I'm saying. And then there's other things again which they're not real, but it is quite amazing though how modders can use them they are still objects so you can sort of reference them as a variable as zero auto did on that, that fantastic map that i can't remember its name now it was so fantastic futuristic strange uh, but like yeah there was uh, i mean I, it went wrong for me the first one i had to redo it because the uh, the graphics looked wrong and i always knew it was not quite right but obviously it was a brand new it's it for some reason it was corrupted on my pc or it had a mod that didn't like it or whatever but yeah my first um, thing for it was uh it was just not working at all so i set this going um and we really need to grab yeah we thought we'd set this going first i think I've moved everything in the way. Now they do look different, I don't they don't look red at all. So we need to grab a standard harvester. And switch it on and do grab that bit as we go. There as well. Yeah, I remember right this as we were still the uh, almost filled from that last time weren't we if i remember rightly yeah now there's a bit a few sort of bits on the way around but this is like not going to work but uh yeah should really oh no i've got to move that quickly so uh, let's not indicate first and then let's see so our 61 61 and we did do a 3.5 and we will clear load activate and we want to go nearest really and then we need to shift everybody out of any rows where they actually are another harvester might well we're going to need the harvester in a second so i'm not really going to worry about that but this likewise we just really need at the minute to set it in between the lines so that uh, if the baler does come down, it's not going to be too much trouble. Now we do need the uh, oh my, yes, my lovely wheel loader. I'm really well pleased to have this. It is a long time since I've had the big one. I've had, I have had this a lot, but not this. If you know what I mean. There's a like, there's a little one, there's a medium one, and there's the almost. It's like a 17 tonner and then there's this one which of course is like the real big one which we had on Riverside given to us by Missy B um, so yes I'm right I'll tell you. it's weird it doesn't sound right when I say it but I'm sure that's right yeah she also made Avon Valley with Vulcan and so I'm not sure if I've got you know that is that's alright yeah now this is going to be a little bit fun getting out of here really 
and, and I mean that in a most non-fun sort of way. Here yeah, we need to sort of go. That's the only good thing. Well, no. <laughs> it's weird when you make sweeping statements because they're always invariably like wrong in a way. Because they're always sweeping and they don't. Then you like think, well, that's a bit of a. Yeah, and you don't really mean it at all like that. Right, so let's. Now then, there are lots of trees in the way. So I've sort of like got to dodge the tree because we're now three dimensional. Uh, and they are real, so yeah, like that, we are really going to clock them. This is where a telehandler has really got the advantage. Uh, yeah, no, no, it really is a pain. Now I'm going to clock that one. All my life. It's true though. I mean, it, I mean, obviously not true in so much as right. I know, I knew you'd like get in the way. I knew somehow. Oh, my life! Yeah, and why did I really forget your bail pusher? Actually, got stopped by your own thing. Right, let's do a bit of clean up as well. Let's do this corner while we're at it. Do you know you? Know that <laughs> the Matrix, where it's where Mr. S uh, Agent Smith says they never, never send a human to do a machine's job, and uh, it's obviously a bit of a, a take on. I think it's that way around, but it always sort of tickles me because you like we're in the other end of the spectrum where you say like never send a machine to do a man's job <laughs> it's true it really is oh it's all over the place as well we have to do clean up afterwards let's not worry about this yeah it's it's just not gonna it's probably i think i took over which is i um, need to i think automatic was 10 Yes, it was. See, I'm beginning to get to the me little key configs, but because uh, I'm using it more, I do like it. That's what I would say. I'm, quite a while back, I was like, you know, I've, you've got the side panel to use it for indicators and beacons. Well, and beacons is a laugh anyway, because I very rarely remember my beacons. But I'm trying to get better. Trying it. So uh, that's a bit of tidying up to do here. Let's get this bit. And then we're going to set that harvester, which is really the most important job, rather than me doing the bales. But uh, yeah, let's just get this little bit of tidy at work so I feel happy. And then we're going to get cracking. It's a mate. Wow, it is. Yeah, it's a bit all over the place. I don't know that it would, didn't not do it. Do you, do you know bales? Bales are such a pain. But also so fantastic. Yeah, it's not all bad, are they? Obviously, but yeah, it looks like we got some of this, but uh, it looks like the position was not quite right. Yeah, in place, there's no idea why. As you can see, that's not too bad. I'm happy with that. So let's send this. Um, I'd say. Send it here, nearest, and then we're going to grab this. We may also, it's the only trouble there. Uh, yeah, let's move this a little bit out of the way quickly. You know, we still haven't finished quite our job here. Yeah, this this was uh, just getting no, oh, I'm gonna have to sort of cheat a little. Yeah, now they get obviously this is the bad thing, which really I suppose no, it really would be this bad in real life. Really, I mean, but again, which is why probably farmers more, in the fields that they do every year probably got a staging point. Really, so it would be almost impossible to 
I do like the uh, the crop. It look, it's very, very unique. I've got to say that. Let's just grab the harvester quickly. And then I don't. Oh no, I don't think we've. Oh, don't think it oh okay let's fold that away for a second it's then the, I pressed the button by the way about five seconds ago ten seconds ago and you think oh I've not pressed the button and then it goes like that but it's weird because now that I've done that pressing it again it'll open quite quickly it's a bit it's a weird one just laughing it sounds like I'm moaning about everything I'm just <laughs> I, I'm not in a moaning mood either yeah now that this is yeah now this was the bit I was trying to draw your attention to that now obviously there were loads of tree limbs I had to chop half of that tree down because and no matter what harvester you've got your pipe is going to get in the way this is not unduly large really so yeah you can see that I'm going to go in there, I'm going to go right near that tree. So what I'm saying is, if map makers are going to insist on that where you can't, then I really do need better access, don't I? Uh, come on. Ooh, okay, yeah, well, there's not much we can do about that. Oh, of course, forgotten. Then I need to select that and lower it, and press. We we just have. We've just seen me unfold the harvester because the steps are out. And this agrees with me. It, it is on. Isn't that bizarre? We never pressed anything and now it's happy. Apologise for this because it's going to damage a bit of crop, but. Can't, can't really work out the yield just from that little bit. Right, so. Let's see. Uh, we still prepared me. Oh my life. Seriously. My own fault. They do stop at every last little bit, don't they? So I think we're going to have to do this ourselves. Let's not worry about it. Let's set that poppy field going. That's the most important job we've got. And also, I believe we've got across the road to do as well. The We have two fields to do today. And those two are going to be tomorrow by the look of it. So, yeah, and then, yeah, I don't think this would do with straw at all. It wouldn't understand what it is. So, let's get this and see if it. Uh, well, I'm a little bit disappointed. We're going to change it this time. If it'll let me. I don't want circle. It circles horrible. I'm going to try simple. Not No guarantee that this will actually work, but let's have a go, shall we? see if it does the uh, yeah no it's going around it and it is you can see this is the bit that where I can see better than you can now I obviously I can't move this window but I can see underneath it quite but I was looking at it and think yeah but you can't see this very well it always looks like I've got uh, infrared vision because you can't see underneath the tablet whereas there's a bit of translucency I wish you could switch it up a little so that I could show you a little bit more but there is a circle around there there's two little circles around there but I'm not sure that simple is going to work this time but we're going to save it anyway so it is field 65 and let's save that and we'll delete it if it's terrible that doesn't to me look like it's going to work but we should see it can be deceptive Yeah, definitely no straw. I didn't expect it to be. I really didn't. No, I sort of knew that. Too. Right, 
I'm going to say my words, oh, we, we really have got a lot of work to do, so I'm going to see you guys and gals on the other side. I'm just coming out the time lapse a bit. This height's about perfect for them. The detail is sort of about what you'd expect, and I think this is sort of the height that we're supposed to be at when we actually look at the uh, poppies. But you, they almost look three-dimensional, sort of, at present. But when you go, oh, I don't think you're gonna make that. You're gonna like say, oh no, no, you. Let's be patient and pretend that uh, we understand why you're not damaging the crop. I do like to observe. I, I thought, I was bailing and I thought, really, I think people are probably going to want to see this crop. It is unique. It's, let's just, you know, go in the field and, and stick with this for a bit, I think. I know we can bail into the session. This, this is probably one of those things we all want to sort of observe a little bit. So, in fact, do you know something? I think I'll take over. I am going to go back into a time lapse. So, yeah, I'm going to say my words. I'm going to see you guys and gals on the other side.
Right, it's going to be a bit of a mishmash this one, but I just wanted to show why I prefer simple to circle. With all the other fields with the telegraph poles, we have done so far with circle. On every single course laid, we've hit the poles. It's done a fancy trick of going around the poles, but then it's like playing them later on. Like now, simple. I'm not, it's not perfect, but we've seen that it, when I let it go on its course, it avoided it. It does leave a little bit of mess, but then it, it avoids the post. And isn't that really what we're after? We're not after anything special. So I've always and still, I think this entire Let's Play has really emphasized the fact that I am definitely correct that simple is so much better than circle because circles let us down every single time with its fancy driving around in a circle around it but then it's later ignored the post and it's clunked them whereas the simple just goes around it as simple as and uh, yeah there's a bit of clean up but I, there is anyway there is with like doing the corners that I do you've got to go away but I still find the workers you gain more than you lose the workers go the quicker the, the, the yeah round of corners it's so much quicker than than faffing around in the fancy lines that they do which is why I always choose this but it is a bit messy there's no denying that but there's always a trade-off there's no sort of method that's always perfect this is that is the trade-off you, you, you can't sort of win them all you can't have it uh, be perfect yeah that's the best way to put it that is, there's no perfect, perfect way of doing it there's just advantages and disadvantages and I think the advantages in actually doing the field without clonking the post I think that's an advantage really fantastic let's, let's grab that I think there's a bit I missed as well. It's not bad, not a bad yield. Not really. It's a big field. It's one of our biggest, but that's nearly 40 tons. So, yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. No, we did actually. No, this just that's a bale. Yeah, that is it. So, 21, 31, 38, 38-ish 30 tons of poppies. Yeah, I've never ever done that on any map at all. That's a first for me. And it is quite lucrative, just not quite as lucrative as what we should have done. Another chickpeas, again, I've no idea what um, yield we're going to get. Now we could fold that in red in this. Yeah, I think the only thing, if I was going to be really critical, and it is really critical because it's a beautiful, I mean, Look. Sid modding and JHHG modding are two of my favourite modders. Really, always the the kit is phenomenal. It is, and probably true to true statistics. If anything, this is just a little slow on the. Um, which also is my favourite by Sid modding is the twin screw. I'm not. I've yet to use the gleaner that uh, he did not long back, and, and I might. But the twin screw is my favourite of all harvesters. It, I did think the Colossus was, but then I used the twin screw again. I thought, no, this is still my favourite. I've just not used it in ages. Now I've used it again. I've got to say, it's it's everything I remember. It's uh, quite a phenomenon. It's steering, and it's uh, again the twin screw. That's its only fault. It's got a huge hold, bigger than anything else, which is a huge advantage but it's unloading speed is awful yeah the pumps that pump the stuff out of the uh, is is terrible now then I think a sensible person will empty that now I'm intrigued now because on almost all maps where people give you so 38,250 litres now when a pop is to be sold that's what I would like to know when are puppies to be sold? Because I'm intrigued as to whether we've got to dump these externally. When? February. 
Okay. Yeah, definitely February we get a thousand, well, over a thousand. On hard economy, that is stupendous. There's very little with that kind of um, clout. So that's I would. That's thirty-eight thousand for a single crop. Yeah, I'm intrigued to see if this will go in the silo because normally map makers make their particular crops normal crops so you can use the silo but so far the only one we did do it didn't like it the onions no the onions were not accepted but they are root crops like carrots and would you call onions root crops yeah of course they are they're under the ground yeah they are so yeah it didn't like those and we had to put them in the so i'm not sure where the poppies that look more like a grain to me it will be accepted so I'm intrigued to how Mars handled this so we need to be on our A game and looking January stroke February because sometimes it can be in the middle of the night on January is like February morning and that's the best time to sell so you've got to really be I mean truthfully yeah I mean canola's just the same I used to find on no man's land when I was selling it it was often in the middle of the night was the time that it really was at its best and by the time you'd gone to the morning it was like on the, the wane and your prices were like sort of losing already where you had you'd lost quite a bit from the best price so and also one other thing I'd like to do is upgrade the massing see what uh, this can go up to 306, but I think it's the stay room model. I think on this, because I'm sure I had that on combined counties. Right, so this is going to, this is, yeah, moment of truth. Is this going to be accepted in the silo? It is. Fantastic. That, you would expect that. I thought that was my point. I'm, I'm really pleased that it does, though. Because I mean, it's it's nice to be able to store this. Oh, oh, my life. Oh, it's the. Uh, Apologise for the. Perhaps I should have gone a little bit more. I'm catching the roller door. Yeah, let let's do that properly. Let's go back a little bit more. Marv has thought of these things. I totally not thought about the roller doors. That's uh, yeah. Now we're clear. I was going to say there are men, very few. This is not a particularly high trailer. Not really. I mean, they, I always find lifts. They're always monstrously high anyway. Right. So yeah, let's just go and follow the uh, harvester. I'm hoping we can. Uh, I don't know actually. Now this next field has got one a really good entrance. I've got to be honest. Very very good entrance which is why I never changed it yeah I would you could have changed this and made your field bigger but I thought no because but also it's we've got our and I do realize I've got to grab the um, I was gonna say sunflowers but they're obviously still in the field this the canola that's got to be got soon we don't want to be losing process since I'm bought you see I know my partner farmer Jeb only too well he really isn't worried about in fact let's just run this to the field now yeah his processing times on the beast that is that fantastic factory is so brilliant yeah I'm looking forward to this because we've not seen this at all the crop so again it's it is true what I was saying and um, because I have gone to the really high it has yet further apologize for that sneeze yes last time I did that you could sort of hear it in a muffled sort of way it's not a perfect but yeah what I'm sort of trying to say is that's indicate because I've chosen really really high res it sort of emphasizes the low res meshes that are the crops and it is true I mean I've noticed cotton I always try not to get too close because it really is quite poor at uh, 4k it, you know, it looks like two dimensional. It's not really brilliant at any res, but oh, no, 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 let's leave it open. No, no, the harvester does need to get in. I just wanted to show everybody. Let's move out of the way as well. Stick it here. 
Let's have a little look at this uh, chickpeas. Yeah, 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 you can see the individual chickpeas. I'd say the yield on this is probably going to be quite good. So it might be poor if we look at the chickpeas, they might sort of be a bit higher. Yeah, 656, but it might be good because she might get a really good yield. So let's let's hope, shall we? Because it's not a very nice field. Alright, now then, let's have a quick look. Is it this type of header? Yes, let's let's be sensible and look on our header and see does this show no you need to do it in this don't you as if you buy a new header then it will show you what the header does yeah I've got a streaming cold that's just starting typically it is indeed a standard header that has got uh, both what I was trying to do and what we have done so now this is going to be a little bit of. I still think it's a it's a bit in need of light. I think yeah, it's it's the turning bit that I think is going to catch us. Yeah, it's uh yeah we need to sort of go a little bit. Now we also need to close our steps, which again I've done, but it takes so long. just popped now then can we without I don't think we can I think it's gonna catch it but we'll give it the best shot that we can yeah they're gonna catch at the back oh I think we might just do it this time he says as he jinxes it uh, I think it's catching in the hedge. Oh, it's no, it's not. It's me on the uh, metalwork of the <laughs> gate in the middle. We've actually done it. Excellent. Oh, 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 be careful. I'm going to clack it again. Oh, and now I've caught the front one. It is a bit of an obstacle course. Now, have I got the tra We switched traffic on, didn't we? So why is it? I've not seen any traffic again. Yeah, no, it's odd. Yeah. We're just lucky. Because it, it, this would be a bit nasty with traffic right next to us. So we've just hit a bit of a break because we've just seen it's on, but I can't see a stitch of traffic. Which is unusual. Right, I'm going to go back into that time lapse, but I just just wanted to have a bit of a chat about that, just to sort of put my ten penneth in and uh, my thoughts really on just the I use cosplay such a lot. It's sometimes nice to pass on a bit of the knowledge and sort of show by example what I personally think is better and why I think it's better, because we've sort of seen from this let's play. That the complicated circle, which is now the default, is still, in my opinion, not as good as simple. Yeah, the only course we've used simple on was successful, and the two courses we used so far with circle, at least two, they were total, totally bombed. Thoughts, yeah. Well, it's selected right anyway it's, let's go into that time that's the yellows are completely out though I am I wasn't right when I said these were close it's really completely two different distinct yellows right oh, I've got a tick up as well right I'm gonna say my words I'm gonna see you guys and gals on the other side
and there we were done you know not a particularly big uh, yield on it it's fairly average I would say but it does have straw which was a bit of a bit of a shock so there's fibers that uh, yeah, it doesn't look a terribly it's quite a poor straw or fiber but it is nevertheless you have got some to sort of pick up so let's have a look it looks different from what I can see no it's still that okay, so they mesh yeah it is it's quite an interesting straw actually but it is all the same straw and I would imagine this is because the additional straw mod won't know this has got straw because it's a unique crop so this will be Marv himself who's done the straw which is quite amazing I would have thought yeah I really would I might be wrong I'd have to check with crop types to see about straw or, or what fantastic so not an awful lot I'd imagine from what we've seen before though yeah we'll do the straw in another session but uh, right, we need to do we need this uh, I think we're going to send this back now aren't we I think that's all of us apart from our sunflowers which we have our own header for so we should ask the shop later on if they can pick that up. I'm not going to take the harvester back because we're not that far away from one of our fields. I think we'll have to go yeah, over the bridge and the other side to do it. But let's at least run the crop and not leave it in the field. And when does this... Yeah, let me just sort of show you that looks like as best you can. It really is very chickpea-ish, which is very like... Um, canola, very. I mean, it, it it looks like canola, like white canola, like the uh, same kind of. Uh, so they they are also uh, no December actually really should be. So we should be keeping our eye on it from that sort of time on. And I'd imagine this will go in the silo. So yeah, shut the door, the gate as we go. Yeah, there's some it, it sort of thoughts. Um, sure, okay. Yeah, I've still not seen any cars. It's almost like they've crashed or something, which is possible. But uh, we've not done anything. We've seen there aren't. Oh no, there's one coming. Two coming. Yeah, we just have been, must have been lucky before, which I'm not complaining. So that's our two unique crops done. I'm almost tempted to do another year just to sort of see some, bring out some of the really um, good crop types because we're sort of doing well enough on our business that we can coast a little but we really are running out of time it's now November the 1st uh, oh no it's not not quite reached 12 o'clock yet I was thinking I was a bit later it's 10 to 11 so yeah another hour and 10 minutes odd and it will be the 1st of November which means we're less than two weeks away might be able to do it I might be able to do another year we are actually going through this quite well yeah really I should have put my beacons on shouldn't I see I missed an opportunity but it wasn't a total fail because I realized that I really should have put my beacons on so let's I do let any excuse to put those beacons on they are really something else very very nice yeah, yeah. This is still a road. It's not our road. This is a road. Of course, thankfully, we've not been given any traffic. It would be a bit awful isn't it, in real life. Oh, that's the indicator. Yeah, I think we can switch them off. We're now pretty much on our property, so I'm expecting these to go in the silo. You'd expect that. We've seen that, obviously. Yeah, so these were obviously the crop that I did by mistake that were not what I really wanted, but nevertheless, it's still a unique crop, and I'm glad we've done them. Yeah, like I would like to the red clover and the white clover. I'm not sure if it, whether it's uh, like a grass, a special grass, but it just really intrigued me. I'd like to do a field of each, so I probably would rip the grass because I think the grass crops bit like alfalfa but uh, I might be wrong we could still do it in a big field it wouldn't matter if it was grass really if we did 
if we can do another year it would be interesting and I think I'd dedicate it to completely I know we're doing like um, oils and we've got the farmer jet but what I mean is it's more about sometimes it's more about showing off the map and what the map's got to offer so even if I'm not going to do quite as well it's more about yeah, like showing those crops that are special to the map and there are quite a lot Marva's been really quite amazing I don't think I've ever seen any be quite tackle so many different crop types we've got horse grass, horse grass I'm not sure if they're a mod but I think they are spelt and tritical I've seen them on other maps but this is all Marv silage sorghum again Marv chickpeas, buckwheat, mustard mustard I've seen on other maps I've had before but that's a unique icon for it onions I had on FS19 millets I've seen on other maps and I've never done it peas likewise I've never done lentils that I wanted to do that I didn't do poppies and beans and rye which I've seen and also actually done on a couple linseed which is an intriguing one because this is a real British crop that is I won't say popular it's canola really sort of but but not quite I'm just trying to it's in the similar family but it is quite a unique sort of crop type um, yeah because I was reading about it I did a bit of research on it a few months back I've forgotten most of what I live in but <laughs> yeah I did read on it so alfalfa fermented alfalfa alfalfa hay clover fermented clover clover hay so I am right it is a grass so do I really want to do that do I really want to do just another type of grass it might look pretty but it's just another kind of grass and mainly you usually do them for sheep and unfortunately we've not got sheep so I think I'll avoid those ones I did I'd, yeah it's a no that's not what I'm, this one so what haven't we done we could do some rye and some millet and some mustard and I did want to do well I think we should just do like a field of everything we can so rye millet uh, we've done poppies so I will li leave that mustard beans peas and lentils yeah the, I think the bread clover and the white clover we can now say it's just a special form of grass or a, a food for like the uh, this triticone spell inferior wheat as they were known in past times they are a version of wheat probably no no I won't say that because I could be misleading people at that yeah it's a it is a it was called inferior wheat spelt um, yeah I know that right so then I think that's where we're gonna leave it yeah we we've, we've did the animals and we've done I think we got all of the grass that is a point grass because this is has gone on a couple of months since we or is it no I think we've gone it should be growing no it was this no it has grown one yes yeah, it's, it's now since we cut it it is we've grown one month but it is yeah we're not going to be cutting I don't think this year so otherwise we if we're staying another year we do ruin next year's crop so I think we'll leave it definitely leave it so the other thing is we might get some more equipment and I'm hoping to take pay attention to the I mean we've done very well on the cedars and planters I've got to be honest I'm quite amazed at what we've got a beautiful nine meter horse got the little four meter which is still useful we're going to do more fields and we've got that fantastic planter which does get us into a bit of trouble because it's a little bit long really so it was a perhaps should trade it in for the eight meter which should probably a bit more be like for the map but we'll, we'll yeah we'll keep it as it is we will so we didn't finish the bailing just, just quickly pop down and see how close we are to finishing because if we are close we might actually just crack on how close are we going not too much let's just finish this I hate leaving jobs half done you know like where there's you know like you, you can see you've nearly finished so we've just got a proper one line and then clean up to do so let's get it done shall we yeah, so it's been a cracking session. It is. I'm really enjoying my time on the map. Um, it's, uh, yeah, I mean, there's, there's far more pluses than minuses. And this is early on, because almost all map makers, 
I'm always an early adopter, always, and I, I don't sort of, and I always know that makes more work for myself and things like that. Always does, but it's always to show off the map, which I enjoy doing a, a lot. Um, and that there's more pluses and minuses, is what I'm going to say, which you'd expect there to be some minuses, really. If you come on a map early, you've got to expect there's going to be problems really because uh, yeah this although there's going to be testing done things can go wrong with ground layers and all sorts of things let's half do this on the way down at least so again the, not too much straw on this but this, this was the canola field wasn't it yeah uh, yes it was yeah that's pop is the other one so which yeah were, were red until you harvest them and then they were not red at all so that was intriguing there's quite a bit of wasted bits of straw where yeah the bales have sort of gotten away a little ooh, ooh, ooh. it's going to miss some of that yeah there's a few patches around here that are gonna, we need to go over a couple of times I think yeah, this is where the forage wagon really has got this because the Omatana made it with quite a nice wide swath, but not a silly swath, not like the um, Mark Thor, the quick bale and the quick, quick bale. They're a little bit too super for my liking. It's the only thing I don't like about the quick, quick bale and the quick bale is its super windrowing ability type thing. It's just a bit too. I wish you could switch it off. I've always said that. Um, is it to me it's just a step too far yeah, the same as the size of the bales are monstrous as well but it's not yeah mark does some cracking stuff the t440 i keep it only for the trailer now because it is not realistic it uh, damages crop so i don't know whether yeah thinking about the i was using this analogy when i first did sugar cane with the ore stuffed um, it, I did it all myself and I damaged crop and I only know that because I went and did it, it yeah there was a, a damaging update that uh, Giants did and it damaged my save well destroyed my save so I'd got to repeat the session so I let the worker do it this time because I thought it's one of those rare opportunities where you're unsure about something but you get that opportunity to try it so I thought well let's see and the worker did an awful lot more and I thought, and I'd done it, and I thought, obviously, again, it was that the actual thing was damaging when you used it, even though you thought you were using it well. Your turns and that were all damaging crops, so I would imagine Mark's is a little bit like that, where it damages. Let's have a look. Can we get this? Yeah, where the. You know, it looks like it's not, but it is damaging. So it's got to be but it severely damages. And we're talking, you lose like an, a 60 to 70 percent, or a, you lose about a third of your crop. It's a bit more than a third, actually. It's it's quite serious. Yeah, when I did taters, I thought it had all been fixed because he did a lot of work on it. So I sort of presumed it had been fixed, but actually when I did a test not long back just to sort of prove to myself that it now was fixed it really wasn't at all it still damages so I thought at that point well it is it's reasonably priced but if it damages crop who's gonna want that I'd sooner have the Colossus or even a traditional or a multi fruit by TN always forget TN's number but yeah by him so there we go that's another job done so all that remains to be said is thank you very much for watching truly do hope you're going to stick with me on this journey and i'm going to say goodbye for now